My name is uh, Litsa Mayam and I'm from the island of Tukelau. I am joining the marching today because we are the first nation to go underwater if we don't stop fossil fuel. So we're here to demand the world to stop fossil fuel and fossil fuel. That's it. Hello, this is Dahlia Gabriel reporting for Navarra Media. I'm here at the Climate Justice March, which is happening the day before the COP23 negotiations begin. It's obviously really great to see all these people out here showing solidarity and trying to show an element of civil resistance to climate change. We're also seeing a lot of the kind of problematic tropes that have been present throughout the history of the European climate movement being reproduced here. A lot of talk of just saving the environment without much focus on the people that are implicated on that and who are the people that are the first to die from climate change so we're gonna go around check things out and see what climate justice means to the people marching today climate change is a reality and it's hitting the pacific right at the moment and climate justice really is just seeing the world commit to transitioning away from fossil fuels and into renewable energy right now not tomorrow today Climate justice to me means that people who have had nothing to do with causing this problem don't suffer. And don't suffer from the fact that other wealthy, rich, greedy, mostly I would say, players have benefited from this system and aren't suffering. Our communities suffer from climate justice because we are depend on our livelihoods. We are farmers and we are growing crops for ourselves. But if there's no rain, then we can't plant. Here, in the fact, now the decisions of the governments, the governments, now, I mean, the exact, I mean, the decisions, 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 ترامب وانسحب بسهوله من من المعادات وهذا الشيء حنايا يعني هذه شيء خطير وغادي يوصل الارض لواحد الكارثه لا محاله منها لهذا حنا نطالبوا باش الدول ديالنا والحكومات ديالنا يوصلوا للقرارات ملزمه للجميع انا ذاك يمكننا نتحسنوا بدون قرارات ملزمه فهذا يكون تلاعب و وهروب من من المسؤولية. As a, a woman that lives in the Pacific, for me, climate justice is important because it ensures and prioritizes that everyone are included within climate responses, regardless of your background, your ethnicity, your sexual identity, and your gender expression. And for us, we are still strongly pushing that everyone should be included. Everybody should have fair access to climate um, to climate actions, and no one should be left behind. <laughs> 